Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have part two of my summer fragrance recommendations for you. If you haven't already seen part one, I'll link it in the description box for you. Loads of you asked me to do a part two. Well, I asked you if you'd like to see one and you said yes, so here I am. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe, hit the bell, as always, come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, and I'm just gonna get straight into it. As always, I'll link all of these fragrances in the description box below so you can check them out. The first one that I've been absolutely loving in the warmer weather is Comtois Sud Pacifique Aloha Tiare. This is just a gorgeous tropical, creamy tiare flower fragrance but it's also got a little bit of coconut and vanilla in the background it's got like a little bit of a freshness to it it's great for day to day it just takes me to a tropical summer holiday in my mind and it is absolutely amazing it's so good it's got like this little bit of sweetness to it just smells like a tropical goddess. This one layers really well with other tropical scents as well because it's not super overpowering. It just creates a lovely sort of bubble around you and this lasts for ages on your clothes. My bottle is from Twisted Lily so you can use my Twisted Lily discount code Kate10 for 10% off the entire website as always. Next up is Mattia Premier French Flower. I have been loving this fragrance so much. This is such a gorgeous modern tube rose. The tube rose is really like full and creamy and it's got this slight fruity touch from some pear and uh, it's just amazing. The way this fragrance is composed gives me a little bit of a tropical feel as well. The tube rose, like I said, it's creamy, it's full and it has this really sort of carnal feel to it. Like it's indolic but it's clean and it smells honestly the smell of this reminds me of your skin when you've been out in the sun all day and it's warmed up and it just it smells it's got this sort of visceral feel to it which is just absolutely beautiful and I think it is very very sexy yet so wearable you can wear this daytime or nighttime and it is such an amazing fragrance. I think that it is probably difficult to compose a tube rose fragrance that is something different to what's already available and I feel like Mattia Premier have definitely achieved that with French Flower. This is such an amazing fragrance, definitely check it out. Next I have Zerjoff K Bridge Club. Now this is one that honestly you could wear all year round but this is my summer date night fragrance of dreams which is why I'm including it in this video. I would only wear this on a summer evening. This is from Zerjoff's Join the Club collection and it's inspired by the luxury shopping culture in Knightsbridge. I love it specifically at Harrods. You know I love specifically shopping for perfume in Harrods. Like their sixth floor, their Salon de Parfum is just my dream and I love going there when I'm in London but yeah Cambridge Club is such a gorgeous sweet sexy caramel rose and vanilla fragrance it's got a slight spiciness to it it's slightly creamy it reminds me a little bit of chocolate covered Turkish delight if you've ever had that tastes amazing this kind of smells a little bit like that taste and I just think it is very very sexy and it kind of reminds me a little bit of fragrances like Mansara Roses Venie or Intense Cafe by Montal but this is much much more refined it is next level and I am gonna make a bold claim and say that this is my current favorite Zerjoff that is a massive claim because I love Zerjoff, like their fragrances are amazing. Accento Overdose actually. This is like, I would wear this on a different occasion, like Accento Overdose is day and night for me, but summer night time, this is like a date night fragrance. I wear Accento Overdose on dates as well. They, they're they like here for me, these two fragrances. Like this is as good, but completely different and I am just ob obsessed with it. Again, my bottle is from Twisted Lily. Kate 10 for 10% off your entire order. Like I said, I will leave links to everything, all the information you need down below. Next, I have Maison Sur Blue Gin. If you like fresh fragrances, you need to check this out. I discovered it 
like a month ago and I am obsessed with this. It's it smells like a refreshing gin and tonic mixed with sort of like a clean laundry feel. You definitely get the juniper berries in here. It's got this very uplifting freshness. It's got a zestiness and it's got like this slight bitterness to it as well. It's got an icy cold kind of feel. It's very refreshing. It would be amazing in humid weather. It would cut through humidity with no problem at all. It is absolutely amazing. Such a gem from Mise en Serre. Next I have what I think is such an underrated gem from Creed. This is Royal Water. You really don't hear too much about this fragrance and it's amazing. It's a gorgeous fresh citrus fragrance with a slight herbal touch from some mint and some basil. It's got a little bit of a fresh spiciness to it as well and this just for some reason transports me to summer's in Italy. I think it's the citrus mixed with the herbal touch. It gives me a feel of classic Italian perfumery and I just think it's amazing. I think that this is such a great hot weather fragrance. Not only is this one that you could wear throughout summer, day or night, but I think that this would be a great summer holiday fragrance. It'd be a nice alternative to your more typical tropical fragrances and like I said this just to me smells like somebody holidaying in the Italian Riviera on their family yacht. That is the vibe that this gives me and I'm here for it. I love it. So Musk Therapy by Initio is one that I wear a lot and I've mentioned this fragrance on Instagram but I'm not sure if I've mentioned this on my YouTube channel yet. So I wanted to tell you about this because I think it's a great one for summertime. It's basically a lovely creamy musky fragrance with some fruity touches and some sandalwood and it is just divine. It's got mandarin, it's got black currant and uh, the muskiness in this fragrance. I love it so much. It almost has a little bit of a tropical feel to me but it's just so uplifting and soothing and calming and there's just something about this fragrance. I always wear this when I don't feel very well and it's nice because it doesn't bother me at all. You know sometimes when you're not feeling great you don't want a fragrance that's really heavy or anything. This is great for that but it lasts a really really long time on your skin and it is so uplifting and it always puts me in a good mood when I wear it and I just think it's amazing and if you haven't smelled this definitely check it out. It's just got this gorgeous creaminess to it. It's like a second skin and oh, it's amazing but it does project though and I love it so much. So if you like your sweet scents and you want one that works really well in the summer Sweet Praline by Mise en Serre would be a great option. This is such a gorgeous syrupy sweet yet airy fragrance. If you like Treasure and For Your Love by Mise en Serre, definitely check this out because I think you would like it. It's in the same family and it's got this sort of, oh, it's smooth and you definitely get the nutty, sweet praline feel and it's got a slight salty touch from some Ambroxan, it's got jasmine, it's got raspberry, it's just really gorgeous and it smells so refined which I absolutely love. It's just gorgeous. If you haven't checked this out and you're a fan of Mise en Serre, then definitely try this. This is one of my favourites from the brand and I love a lot from the brand honestly. It's such an amazing brand and it has this sensual feel to it as well which I love. Next up is one that I've been obsessed with since I first smelled it last autumn but because it's a summer fragrance I didn't pick it up or anything but I finally have a bottle. It is Mattia Premier Neroli Orange. Oh, guys this is such a bright fresh, uplifting Neroli fragrance. I love Neroli, it is one of my favourite fragrance notes. It's so summery, it's slightly citrusy and it's just clean, fresh, a little bit citrusy. I love how Mattia Premier really focus on one ingredient for each of their fragrances and then they just build the other notes around it to highlight that note and I feel like again they've done such an amazing job 
with this fragrance. It smells unbelievable. It's just oh, divine. It is summer in a bottle. Okay, I have one that you wouldn't necessarily associate with summer particularly, but I've started wearing it when the weather's warm and wow. It is Santal 33 by Le Labo. This is usually my rainy day scent, but like I said, I've been wearing this when the weather's warmer and it smells completely different to when you wear it in the cooler weather. I know all fragrances smell kind of different depending on what the temperature is, but this one, it's like a different fragrance. In the winter, this, to me, you get the sandalwood a lot more. It's very woody and very kind of spicy on me in the winter. When I wear this in the summer, it's the fresh notes and the muskiness and the leather that comes through for me. It just smells like fresh, leathery and musky and it is so, so good. I might even go as far as to say I prefer the way this smells in warmer weather. I just absolutely love it. It's so gorgeous and I've seen people speak about this online and say that they get a cucumbery feel from this, like a cucumber freshness, which I never understood before. It's because I hadn't worn this in warm weather. In the warm weather, you do get a sort of slight cucumber freshness from this. It's the weirdest thing, but I love this. If you haven't tried Santal 33 when it's hot out, just give it a little spritz and see what you think because I think it's amazing. And like I said, I'll link all of these fragrances in the description box for you guys. Watch part one if you haven't already watched part one. Leave me a comment, let me know what your favourite summer fragrance is. I would love to know and be sure to give the video a cheeky little thumbs up as always and hopefully I'll catch you in my next video guys. Bye!